All right. Welcome, everybody. I am Becky Willis. I'm a principal consultant at Optima, and I'm also the Pittsburgh Women in Tech Community Group leader. I want to welcome you to the AI Specialist Study Group Session 4. Today is February 13th, 2025. I think it's also Galentine's Day. I might be wrong, but if not, lots of love for all of us um, today. Um, and today we're going to explore generative AI and CRM applications. For my presentation, I'll specifically be focusing on the sales side. And then next week, Anna will be presenting on how generative AI is used for service in CRM applications. So just as a reminder to kick us off, Salesforce's approach to generative AI is built on four guiding principles, trust, relevance, security, and the ecosystem. So with trust, this is just the statement that data does not get stored outside of Salesforce. Relevance, the data is formed on a context based on your CRM data for accuracy and relevance. Security, it's built on Hyperforce and it ensures data privacy and security. And then when it comes to the ecosystem, this means that you're able to bring in any LLM, your own model, Salesforce's model, or any model to use generative AI. So what is Agent Force for sales? Customers today desire personalized interactions, but sales reps typically have limited time to do all of those personalized interactions that they need to do. Agent Force for Sales provides agents the help they need to sell faster and scale their efforts. It assists with pipeline building, case deflection, and coaching. So within Agent Force's framework, there are two types of agents. We have the autonomous agents and the assistive agents. Our autonomous agents are the agents that complete jobs for you. So you'll see this in auto completion of CRM data, auto creation of personalized and impactful emails, predictive forecasting, and instant coaching feedback. As an example of an autonomous agent, um, we just got through the Super Bowl, so an autonomous agent would be able to take past data and um, predict who would have won the Super Bowl based on that past data. An assistive agent helps you. It helps you provide guidance for your sellers and closing deals. It creates call summaries. It sends sales signals. It automatically captures activities and it recommends connections for you. So uh, my best example of this is whenever you're out on LinkedIn and it's finding connections who are connected to you or have similar interests to you. And it suggests, um, I think this is the Facebook term, people you may know, but essentially um, recommended connections. So what are the, AR, the AI applications that are used in sales? Uh, the first one I want to talk about today is Einstein lead scoring. So this tool uses AI, which is data science and machine learning, if you haven't picked that up yet, and it prioritizes leads based on their likelihood to convert. It enables sales teams to focus on their most promising opportunities. Einstein lead scoring discovers patterns in your business, and it looks for how leads were converted historically and predicts which leads you should prioritize based on that history. By using machine learning, Einstein lead scoring, lead scoring provides a simpler, faster, and more accurate solution than traditional role-based lead scoring approaches. Einstein Sales Emails is a tool that leverages Salesforce data to generate tailored email content. Users of this tool are provided instruction, can provide instructions to Einstein to draft various types of emails and it offers a personalized approach unlike the static email templates that most businesses are using today. So you can use pre-made email instructions to draft a sales email by asking Einstein to draft some of your most common types of emails, such as instructions and follow-up no, follow nudges. Like email templates, Einstein can pull in your contact name and information to be able to customize your email. But unlike a static email template, Einstein creates a personalized output every single time it generates a message. You can also control if your users can enter their own sales email prompt instructions. This is a feature that's turned on by default and your admin can control whether or not that that is turned on for users to create their own unique email drafts. Now diving into conversation insights, this tool is called Call Explorer and it's powered by Einstein Generative AI also. 
This feature is designed to enhance the analysis of voice and video call records. It allows users to ask natural language questions about call content and provides insights into areas such as product mentions, deal risks, and outstanding customer concerns. By enabling Call Explorer, sales teams can quickly gather information from all of their call transcripts, facilitate more effective follow-ups and strategic decision-making. To utilize this feature, it must be activated in Salesforce setup and appropriate permission sets be given to users. So not anyone can willy-nilly go in and take a look at your call recordings and analyze them. In summary, Call Explorer leverages generative AI to provide actionable insights from call data and enhances the efficiency and effectiveness of your sales and service teams. Similarly, Call Summaries is a tool provided by Einstein Conversation Insights that users use to generate call summaries on their voice and video calls. This summary tab allow, on call records allows users to create editable summaries that include next steps and customer feedback and share summaries for easier team collaborations in the flow of work. Again, this tool is based on call recordings. Now we're gonna dive a little bit deeper than the modules around the sales agents dope. Um, there are two tools that I wanted to talk about today that, that kind of pull it all together. The first is the Agent Force SDR agent. So your SDRs are your sales development representatives. They're typically working at the very um, top of the sales funnel. So whenever the sales cycle starts, so Agent Force SDR handles personalized outreach to leads, it responds to questions, and it even schedules introduction meetings for each sales rep. This agent is grounded in your sales product and customer data and helps to scale a sales rep's time. It, again, is focused on the top of the sales funnel, and its main goal is to nurture leads. It carries out the prospecting work for your SDRs, and here's how it works. It ensures every lead gets attention, it automates sales development tasks to help sales focus on nurturing relationships. It interprets and processes information so it provides answers to questions. It handles objections, qualifies leads, and books meetings. It drives email interaction with leads and partners with the sales team to book meetings and expedite pipeline progression. And it can also pass leads off to the correct sales rep. The main thing to take away from this, as we showed with all of our AI tools, is it is not meant to replace the human SDR. So by automating these top of the funnel activities, the Agent Force SDR agent can free up sales reps to focus primarily on connecting with high quality and qualified leads. These leads have a higher chance to convert. Again, it's not meant to replace your human SDRs, but instead to provide your company with an easy way to scale your selling capacity and handle leads that would otherwise be untouched and accelerate your sales team's pipeline. This agent is ideal for companies who are looking for high volume lead generation and to increase the productivity of their sales team. So within the SDR agent, here are the tools that are used to do prospecting work. Sales engagement is a tool that engages leads with planned prospect outreach cadences. In, um, I'm sorry, in, in these cadences, you can send emails, phone calls, SMS messages, set up meetings, uh, set tasks for your sales reps to handle those kinds of things when you hear the word cadence. Einstein Activity Capture keeps your data between Salesforce and the agent's email client and calendar applications up to date, eliminating swivel seat activity between Salesforce and your email tools. Agent Force chooses which actions to take and drafts emails talked a lot about that a little bit earlier. Einstein Generative AI drafts your emails and creates summaries. Again, I've gone over those tools today. Salesforce Inbox provides Outlook and Gmail integration and performs email tasks. Automated Actions adds, removes, and manages prospects in the outreach cadences. And then Data Cloud provides the audits, the feedback, the Einstein Trust Layer, resource augmented generation, and analytics. The second tool I wanted to dive deeper into is the Agent Force Sales Coach. The Agent Force Sales Coach provides deal specific, personalized feedback to sales reps on their customer communication and messaging. Unlike the SDR agent, the Sales Coach agent is focused on the bottom of the sales funnel and it helps your sales reps to close deals faster. 
The sales coach accesses CRM data to better support sales reps with the deals they're actively working on. It allows sales reps to practice their pitch before customer meetings and provides feedback on the rep's pitch tailored to the deal and the specific stage that the deal is in. When feedback is generated, the agent for sales coach cross-references the sales rep's information with certain fields from the opportunity and ensures it's correct. Additionally, it simulates a customer or buyer in facilitated role play scenarios that are tailored to the sales rep's deal and provides them feedback for their sales reps for the sales rep specifically to that opportunity for their role play. Here's how this agent works. It allows teams to scale coaching by giving every seller a dedicated coach. I think that would be really awesome for us all to have our own personal coach. Um, it facilitates role play tailored to specific deals and it provides personalized objective feedback after each session. It allows sellers to practice pitching handling objectives or negotiating before meeting their real customers without consuming precious manager time. And finally, it helps managers focus their energy on the critical moments, the real game time swings, and not practice sessions in the batting cage. Sales coach agent is ideal for the manager with a large sales team or a team that has very little time to focus on coaching their sales reps. Again, this is focused on the end of the sales cycle and it helps reps advance their deals by giving them feedback and conducting role play scenarios, following preset guidelines to ensure the coaching is consistent and objective. The features of Sales Coach is handled through these sales call features. Agent Force, the Sales Coach uses Agent Force to configure and manage events. Einstein Generative AI powers prompt templates and, and guides the LLM to provide that feedback to the sales rep. Agent Studio is used to configure topics and actions powering the sales coach agent and ultimately equipping our agent with the ability to role play and generate feedback. And then just like everything else, Data Cloud is used uh, to host files and support the retrieval augmented generation. So just as a little review, and one note I will say is I created my entire slideshow and then I was able to use Gemini on Google to create this slide image and all. I just asked it to summarize my entire presentation for us. So I'm not gonna read each of these bullet points, but just to remind you that generative AI tools increase sales reps productivity and accelerate the sales cycle. Today we covered Einstein lead scoring, sales emails, call explorer and summaries, agent forces SDR and sales coach agents. And now I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have about generative AI for sales. I have a question, Becky. Um, yes. You said that the lead scoring, which you know has been around for some time, is generative. Mm -hmm. I guess I always thought it was predictive. Yeah, let me go back to that slide there. Okay. And I'm not really sure that that's so much a question. <laughs> Wait, I was gonna say, I'm trying to remember if I said specifically it was generative or, but yeah, you do have a good point. It's, so it's, based on their likelihood to convert. So it's using the machine learning and making those predictions. Okay. Well, and the reason I ask is that my company is, I, I think I may have said this in one of our first meetings is that we are so, so behind the eight ball when it comes to any kind of Einstein products. Like right now we are having a very, very lengthy legal review of uh, Einstein conversation insights mm -hmm. and like we're not using lead scoring, we're not using uh, opportunity scoring or any of those. And so it's sort of like we're trying to at least talk them into, hey, can we at least do some of the predictive stuff? And I had brought up <laughs> that it was I'm like, we could do lead scoring and opportunity scoring. So I saw the generative AI for sales at the top of the, the uh, slide. And no, you never did actually gotcha. have to say okay. specifically that it was. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think a Brenda has a little bit to add to that. But what I will say is up at the top of the slide, that's just the title of my deck. So okay. it's not necessarily <laughs> labeling it as generative. So good, good question. A Brenda, you want to okay. go ahead? A Brenda, did you have something you had your hand raised? I want to make sure. Thank you, Becky. I've been on yeah. mute this whole time. I oh, did find a quick article from a Salesforce blog published on December 7th of 2023 that gives a little bit more insight on 
predictive lead scoring plus AI is a game changer, if that's helpful. I dropped the link in the chat. I don't know how that will work with the recording, but it is a resource for us. Awesome. Thanks, Brenda. I appreciate too, that. And hopefully put that in there. Yeah, thank you. Okay, any other questions? Okay, well, we'll share this slideshow out and the recording, obviously. Um, but when you get this, I have linked two different trailhead modules, the get, get Started with Sales AI and Discover Agent Force for Sales, which will give you a little bit more information than I did today and ask you questions that will guide you through preparing for the AI specialist certification. So thank you. I'm going to pass it back to Meredith if there's anything else to